Hello from Hamburg, Germany. In this video, we're talking about the Sony 12 to 24 mil and if it is a good lens for interior photography. All starts right now. Let's go. All right, we are uh, at our first composition here. I'm right up against the wall. Even with the 12 millimeter, I still need to get like into kind of awkward positions to be able to get everything in the frame. But the reason I came to this uh, location, this is the Alta Post Direccion in Hamburg, the old uh, like post office ministry for the city. It's now uh, a building that's been turned into like a whole bunch of doctor's offices and um, apotecas. It's a word for that in English, pharmacy. We've got Oliver here with us. Oliver is a local photographer in Hamburg and uh, yeah, he wanted to come and do this shoot and I was like, well, let's go to this location because the last time I was here with my 16 mil, 16 wasn't wide enough to get this, uh, this interior. So uh, as you can see from some of the B-roll, this is a really, really cool kind of inner courtyard with this glass roof, absolutely fantastic photo, but it doesn't uh, lend itself to any lens like 16 even isn't really wide enough so you need like a super wide angle and uh and that's why i don't come here too often because until i got this one right here uh, all i had was the 16 to 35 so now that we've got the 12 to 24 you can see the result is just insane absolutely fantastic photograph here being able to capture uh, the glass roof this main center column and then of course the uh, the floor and some of the tiles all in one image, I'm bracketing because it is like kind of overexposed uh, from the roof um, and I want to be able to keep the detail in those shadows. And then one of the beautiful things about this lens, beautiful, it's not just the way that it looks here with this giant front element, it is uh, rectilinear. So all these lines, I can count on them being nice and straight, even at 12 mil. Uh, granted, our subjects are pretty far away from the lens at this, at this moment, but still it's, uh, it's nothing that I need to worry about. I know that these lines are gonna be straight and I can do a little bit of transform work in post, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty good right out of camera, which is very, very nice uh, for me. So yeah, first shot looking really good in the Alta Post Direction, Hamburg, Germany. Okay, I'm gonna do the middle shot, you mind? Do it. Okay, we're back on the floor here and we've switched tripods. So Oliver has lent me his because his Benro tripod, this is the uh, TMA38CL, gets really, really low to the ground. So one of the things that always bothered me with the 16 to 35 not being wide enough was that I had to get as low as possible, you know, sometimes putting my camera right on the ground or trying to get as far back into the, uh, the corner of the room as I could to try and open it up, especially in staircases or in, uh, in interiors, you know, part of why I bought this lens is to open that up even more. So at 12 mil uh, on my tripod, it was a nice frame on this, uh, this roof looking straight up, but Oliver suggested, hey, my tripod can go a bit lower. Do you wanna try that? Cause it'll, it'll give you a couple more centimeters, which really makes a big difference. That's what she said. And he's right, it's obvious. There's a uh, much wider frame from just a little bit closer to the ground. And I think it opens up the scene a lot and it's providing a really nice result, but uh, I think a big tip when it comes to interiors is utilizing the wide angle to try and open up the space as much as you can. And that's where the 12 mil just absolutely shines on the, uh, the wide end of this lens.
we have not made it very far. This is the uh, entrance to the uh, Alta Postureccion. I think I'm saying that right. And it is uh, very, very intricate. You can see the, the ceiling is incredible. Let's see if we'll focus on the ceiling. Really amazing pattern on the ceiling here. And the green color behind me is also really quite nice. So uh, one of the problems actually with wide angle interiors, if you're shooting with somebody else, is that the, the balancing issue is definitely something to keep in mind because we both uh, saw this image and we're like, we need to be right in the middle of this room. And uh, it takes quite a while to kind of line up your angles perfectly with a wide angle especially even at 12 mil. So uh, luckily both Oliver and I are shooting Sony, Sony bros, Sony bros, bro. And uh, he's uh, currently testing out the 12 to 24 that I bought. So I paid 2000, he gets to use it for free. You guys might recognize this behind me. I've, uh, I've been here one time before. It was actually the very last video in the daily vlogs uh, series from here in Hamburg, but it's not open right now. This is uh, also part of the same building, the Alta Überpost Direction. And uh, this is a fantastic staircase to photograph, but uh, best during the day and kind of like Monday to Friday. But I wish it was open right now. The lights look amazing, but no luck. Oliver and I, of course, have walked right past uh, Meister Camera, which is a very dangerous camera store here in Germany. They sell a lot of Leica and they sell the like, Hasselblad and they sell really nice Fuji stuff. And right here on the door, they are uh, advertising for workshops of the city. And there's one that is a photo walk uh, focused on staircases and interiors, which is very interesting for this video specifically. But it's uh, it's almost like a bit of a sales walk because it says that you get an included Leica Q2 camera uh, to use during the walk. It's 179 euros for five hours and uh, you're with a photo trainer, a professional during the entire thing. And that's very interesting. I did not know that. Um, and pretty cool from Meister Camera. Selling Leica, trying to take all of our money, Oliver. I take all our money. Another advantage of the 12 to 24 that I haven't mentioned is actually video because in this situation in a little tiny elevator, the 20 mil 1.8 from Sony is too tight. The 12 would look really, really cool. The problem is that if you get too close to the lens at 12 mil, it really distorts everything. You gotta have a certain distance of the subject away from the lens or in photography sense, you know, playing with your foreground with like intention because the 12 mil really can distort anything that's close to the lens. Make sure we don't get locked in, eh? Oh, I gotta test this. Oh, good. Oh, I guess we could just go down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot, huh? All right, so. All right, a point I have not mentioned in this video, and it is pretty important given that this is a zoom lens, is the fact that you can go from 12 to 24. So the majority of the photos in this uh, video so far have been at 12 mil because that's uh, one of the main reasons why I got this lens. But there is like some nice added benefits that you can zoom to 24, and it is a fixed aperture at 2.8. So you're able to, uh, you know, get your, um, 
what is it called? Aperture, wide open at 2.8 and, uh, and still photograph at 24, which is nice. So you've got that zoom range, you know, and I guess this is kind of like the extended Holy Trinity where you can go from 12 to 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200. However, with the bulbous front element, you can't get uh, your normal sort of thread on filter. So that's uh, kind of a, a big downside of this lens for a lot of landscape photographers, myself included, but I also still have a 16 to 35 and, and my filter system works really well on that one. So I'm gonna use this one for majority interiors as you've seen in this video and the last one uh, and architecture, of course. So it does still work at 24 though. I'm kind of precariously perched on this ledge. Got my, uh, my trusty, uh, what do you call it, latch? Strap. Oh man, my English is getting really poor living here in Germany. I've also got this uh, funky kind of tripod that has like a 90 degree angle on it. It's nothing too special. I just got it here in Germany. It's quite heavy and uh, kind of bulky, but it works really well for these kind of shoots. But this is a 24 millimeter shot here of this staircase going straight down. It's way too wide at 12 mil. It just doesn't really work at all. I'll switch into video and kind of show you what I'm talking about. If I start recording that there, but it just doesn't really work at 12. It's definitely a 24 mil shot. So having that availability to zoom from 12 to 24 at fixed aperture is pretty awesome. All right, we're back outside. That staircase is a classic one here in Hamburg. And I found that a couple of years ago via a uh, blog post of locations to photograph in the city and uh, went there on my own and, and sort of, uh, you know, explored it in a way. And that was the last time that I was there. So when Oliver said, hey, do you want to go to this one house? I said, yeah, sure. And, and as soon as we walked in, I'm like, I have been here before. And it photographs really, really well. Uh, and as I said, just in that last piece to camera, it was better at 24 than at 12. So that's a, a nice uh, change to this video and another kind of benefit of this 12 to 24 mil um, for interiors. You know, having that zoom range is a good thing. And at 24, this lens performs extremely well. It is tack sharp uh, throughout the entire focal range. You know, you can watch tons of reviews on it if you haven't already. It gets just phenomenal reviews online. And uh, I think, is worth the extra money from the F4 if you're in the kind of scenario that I'm in where you're gonna use it a lot for professional interior work and architecture. And then one massive extra bonus point that I haven't touched on here is Astro. It's got great Astro capabilities because it has an aperture at its widest end of 2.8. So you can get some really, really nice, super wide Milky Way shots at 12 mil, which I do plan on doing eventually. Uh, don't have the opportunity here in Hamburg and this is really a, an interior video, but one day I will try and, uh, and get it out to get some Astro. I hope that's not too much wind coming through this mic, but it's getting late, it's almost midnight. It's time for us to call it a night. So big thanks to Oliver here, show me around. Go and check out his Instagram linked in the description and I will see you in the next video. Peace.